If you thought she was on your TV a lot last night, well, wait till next Sunday, Fallon said after the pop star's big night at the Grammys. Welcome to Best of Late Night, a rundown of the previous night's highlights that lets you sleep and lets us get paid to watch comedy. Here are the 50 best movies on Netflix right now. Today's Taylor Swift news Taylor Swift made Grammy history on Sunday night, winning album of the year for a fourth time. Let's get to today's Taylor Swift news. Jimmy Fallon said at the top of Monday's monologue, before quipping that everyone else at the Grammys got an Emmy nomination for acting surprised when she won. Yep, Taylor dominated the Grammys. If you thought she was on your TV a lot last night, well, wait till next Sunday. Jimmy F.A.L.O.N., referring to the upcoming Super Bowl last night at the Grammys, the big winner was Taylor Swift, who became the first artist to win Album of the Year four times, all for the same album. Jimmy Kaitman E.L., not only did Taylor make Grammys history, she also announced that on April 19, she's releasing a new album called The Tortured Poets Department. Then every other artist releasing an album on April 19 was like, well, looking more like a June release now. Jim Lee et al. on The Punchy's Punchlines, Rainy Day Edition. We are getting hit by a biblical amount of rain here in Los Angeles. All around town, they've been gathering Kardashians two by two. Jim I Kim Miel, you know, they closed our kids' school today because of rain. And this is, I just want to mention, not an outdoor school. There is a roof on the school, but they said it's too dangerous to come to school. Somebody could get wet. Jim I Kim Miel, when I was a kid in Brooklyn, for them to cancel school, there had to be like at least six inches of snow. There had to be black ice on the road and like Son of Sam had to be on the loose. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jack C N 24 Thank you for watching.